Hi there. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. I hope everyone is wonderful. Today, are you ready? Are you ready to dive in and figure out all the feels and release what you don't need anymore because so much of us hold on to the stuff we don't need. So we're going to work through some emotions, learn how our emotions work a little bit so that we can get rid of those and live the life that we were meant to live. All of us have this amazing internal power to live the most incredible lives. And it's in our power. And that's what I'm here to do day in and day out is empower people with ways to bust through those barriers, to live more aware and consciously so that they can truly have the life they desire. I am Mallory Reese. I have been on my own healing path for many years with lots of different modalities. Yoga is definitely a primary one for me. And then in the last year and a half, no, that's not true, about two and a half years, I have discovered the healing powers of essential oils. So that's what we're really going to talk about today. If you ever want to come and experience a yoga class with essential oils, let me know. I teach them here in my hometown. But let's get going. So I want to thank you first for your time, for taking your time out to watch this, to connect with yourself, to make time for yourself, and to learn just everything that you're able to learn. So today's class is all about the feel. So we're going to be talking about how and why essential oils are so powerful at healing the emotions. All of us have emotions. Some of us don't want to admit that we have emotions, but we all have emotions, right? I have emotions. I'm the kind of person that doesn't like to admit she has emotions. And then you have the opposite end of the spectrum of someone that definitely expresses their emotions. And I think that's good too. It is very important that we learn how to deal with and work through, not stuff. We don't want to stuff emotions. Coming from a professional stuffer, it is not healthy to stuff those emotions because what happens is they end up coming down and getting trapped in different places and that's where disease starts. So to live a fully vibrant life, to live with enthusiasm and energy and all that good stuff, we have to not only take care of the physical body, but we have to take care of the emotional body. And Young Living's oils are a great vehicle to help us work with our emotions, to understand our emotions, to process our emotions, and to finally release what doesn't serve us. With the holidays coming up, if you're watching this on replay, we're doing this in December. So we have all of the family get togethers, all of the holiday stuff. And some of us have amazing families. I am very blessed. I have an amazing, amazing family. But others of us, you know, like there are always a few people in our families that are just a little challenging. And you know what? That's okay. That is room for growth. It's incredible. So with the holidays coming up, I'm going to give you some tools and some oils that can really help with just dealing there, allowing people to be who they are, and not letting it totally affect you. I also use, as I said before, essential oils in my yoga practice and my yoga teaching. It has so many benefits layering oils on with the yoga practice of being able to help you work through all of your stuff because we all got stuff. 
These are also incredible for yoga teachers. If I have any yoga teachers out there, this is an incredible source of um, another layering to your yoga classes to really help facilitate a space and a healing. Okay, so let's get going here. What, what is an emotion? I mean, we all feel them. We've all had them, but can you really describe them? It's kind of hard. They're hard to describe. Like we know when we feel them, but they're very hard to describe. And, you know, because emotions are just emotions. We can have great emotions where we're just flying high. We can have emotions where we're like not doing great. So we all have emotions and an emotion really is just an emotion. It can just be straight that. What, where the key is, is how we deal with those emotions, how we choose to either react or respond, whether we choose to let, to work through it and process it or stuff it down. So we kind of, there's an emotional flow chart, but I'll try and take a picture of because I actually just have it handwritten down because that's the kind of person I am. I like handwritten things. But so we'll have our emotion up at the top and then we have two ways that we can branch off. We either release the emotion or we hold on to the emotion. So when we release the emotion, there's two other ways of dealing with that. We release it either up if it, in a positive way so it feels good, it's a good release. Even if it's not a great emotion, you can still have a good release from that not fantastic emotion. Or you can have a negative release, so a bad. So for example, a good release when, um, a good release of a bad emotion would be like when we have something really challenging in our life happen and it triggers like some anger and we choose to release that anger by having gratitude, by having gratitude for the lessons that this, um, for the reason why this emotion was risen. So that's a positive way of releasing an emotion. And you know, a positive way could actually also be like, you're just freaking happy. You know, it's a good emotion. You're in love and you're happy and you express that love. That's a positive way of releasing a positive emotion, yeah? And then we have the negative ways. So let's go back to our anger. We have this angry emotion and we decide to take it out on people. We get really mean or irritable or angry or, you know, we lash out. We point the finger. We blame. We start talking crap. All the things. So that's a negative way of releasing the emotion. It can even get physical, you know, like you start punching a wall, you know, um, punching a pillow, throwing stuff, you know, hopefully not punching a person. Let's not do that. But so that's releasing. So it's letting it go, working through it somehow, or you can hold on to the emotion. You're holding on super, super tight to that emotion and you're kind of just stuffing it down. So with that, we have two ways of when we hold on to the emotion, we either stuff it, like I just said, so we stuff it down, we bury it, or we redirect that emotion. And in that case, you redirect it into like some activity, either like, like a workaholic kind of person will redirect that emotion and just throw it in their work and work harder and do more and not really address the emotion, but just boom, boom, boom. Or you can channel it in a more positive way to where, and even being like throwing it into work isn't necessarily negative, I don't feel. But you can also address it by like being creative, by like getting, like making some art or doing something that really helps to heal your soul. Or we stuff it, right? We just <clears throat> bury it, smash it down there. And when we stuff emotions, that's when energy starts getting blocked. That's when things start to block and things start to build up. And energy blocks eventually lead to pain. And pain can be emotional. 
And in that sense, an emotional pain usually leads to addictions most of the time. When there's an addiction going on, the person is not confronting things that they need to confront, their own inner demons. Because it's scary. It's hard. And not all of us have the tools to deal with it. All of us can learn the tools, but some people don't even know that it's like available to them. That there's things out here like oils and yoga that can help work through all of those emotions. Um, abusive, when people start becoming abusive, either verbally, physically, sexually, however, a lot of the times that's from trapped emotions, stuffed emotions. And then physical. So it can even come into physical pain. So that kind of leads me into the next topic, which is the whole physical side of it. So I firmly, firmly believe, and there has been so much evidence to back this up, that a lot of the dis-ease, the chronic stuff that our society is facing is due in large and part to our environmental world, for sure, environmental stuff and toxins, um, nutrition is also a huge one. But another key component is emotions. Our mental health is huge. You have to have all three. You have to have a good environment. You have to have a good, strong physical body. And you have to have a good way of dealing with your emotions. Otherwise, they get stuck and they end up traveling. So the body is super interesting. It's crazy because you're probably thinking like, okay, Mallory, that's great. Um, with our oils, they are actually able to help us heal those emotions and get stuff unstuck. And there's a couple ways they're able to do this. So in our brains, we have what's called the limbic system. The limbic system is our primal brain. It's like our fight and flight. It's our very like visual, visceral, primal brain. It also controls all the autonomic nervous system. So like your heart beating, your breathing when you're not thinking about breathing, um, your digestive system, all that good stuff. And the limbic brain is also the seat of our emotions. So our limbic brain is the seat of our emotions. It's where we experience, I wouldn't necessarily say where we experience emotions, but where our emotions are stored and our memories, our memories linked to those emotions are stored in the limbic brain. What's interesting is the olfactory nerve. So the nerve from your olfactory, right? The nerve from your nose that takes in those scent receptors and sends into the brain is connected to the limbic system. So have you ever smelled something and it like took you back either to a time in your life or a memory or reminded you of either a loved one or maybe even not so much of a loved one? That's that memory response trigger because the olfactory nerve is connected into that part of the brain. That's why the sense of smell is so powerful. And this is how the oils are able to help us work through emotions, is with that sense of smell. Now, the other way oils are able to work through emotions is by the frequency of the oils, the vibration of the oils. So like I was saying, the limbic system houses our memories, right? And I always say the brain is the librarian and the body is the library. So when we have an emotion, it's, you, we don't feel, like, think about like, when you have an emotion, you don't feel it up here, right? You feel it in the body somewhere. Like if you get that dreaded, dreaded phone call of a loved one passing away, you immediately like grab your chest. You feel it in the lungs. It's because our lungs carry our grief. So all of our grieving emotions, if we don't work through them, get trapped in the lungs. If you're super worried about something, 
very, very worried, you feel it in your gut. You grab your gut, right? People that are chronic warriors tend to have ulcers or develop them. So um, that is, so again, the brain, the limbic system is our librarian. The body is the library. Each of our organs houses different emotions. And um, the heart houses our love, right? The liver houses anger. So, and there's always two sides to every coin, right? Two sides to every coin. So the opposite is also found in those different organs. And the opposite is that higher frequency, the frequency that we want. So the limbic system. So with that, the different oils are actually able to go in when you use them and help raise the vibration of whatever organ. Because each oil, each plant has a specific vibration. And then also... Each organ has its own vibration, and there's certain plants and certain organs that just line up, and they help to, and the oil helps to lift the organ up to be running at optimal health. Yeah? Okay. This is why I love all of this stuff. I know it probably sounds totally kooky, but it's amazing, and you can actually look at the science of it. So, let's jump all in. Let's get to the fun stuff and play with our oils. So there is, we're going to be using the feelings kit from Young Living today. And I'll tell you a little secret. This just came in today. I have another one, but my new one came in today. I didn't think it would come in today because my other oils are about empty in my other one. And I got this for free today. So Young Living has an amazing rewards program. This kit right here is $181, and I straight up got it for free by redeeming my oh, rewards. So to say that I love this company is an understatement. But so the feelings kit. So grabbing your feelings kit, this is worth every freaking penny because one of the oils in it is $90 alone, and there's six oils in this whole kit. Another book that I highly, highly recommend is Feelings, excuse me, this is not the book I held up, is Releasing Emotional Patterns with Essential Oils by Carolyn Mine. You can get this on Amazon. This is a powerhouse book. It has tons of info about emotions and what oils to use with it. And what's cool about oils is there's kind of like a good, better, best way to use them when you're dealing with emotions. So a good way to use the oil is to literally just crack the bottle open and take a deep inhale. This is Valor. It's one of my all-time favorites. If you have not smelled Valor, your, your life is not complete. So... Taking a nice deep breath in of the oil. That's a good way to use oils. A next better way is to get the oil topically on your skin wherever. Putting that oil wherever you feel called. Whatever sounds like a good idea. That's what I always say about oils too is... The worst thing you can do with an essential oil is leave it in the bottle. So either get it on you, get it in you, or get it in a diffuser somehow because that's better than it just sitting in here. But so you can have the oil just on you wherever. Use your intuition. I love that. What I love about this whole lifestyle is it's really learning you, learning what you need it's not prescriptive. None of this is prescriptive. You know, I'm not gonna be like, oh, do this protocol, this is how you do it. It doesn't work like that. This lifestyle is you taking control of your life and your healing and figuring it out. You have guides like myself to help you along the way, but this is no one's journey but your own. And you have the power. You have the tools, you have the resources. Hi, Mama. 
Glad you were able to jump on and find me. I'm not even quite sure where I am right now, to be totally honest, because I think I forgot to click on the event thing when I started my live video. I don't know. But anyhow, so the best way to use an oil is to put it in a specific place. So and that's what Ka Dr. Carolyn Mind does here. So basically what she has is for each oil and each emotion, so you can, she has a few different charts where you can look it up by oil, you can look it up by emotion, or you can actually look at the charts. If you have like a chronic like discomfort happening somewhere and you're not sure what's going on, like you know you didn't pull a muscle, you don't, you didn't like injure it somehow, it's probably something emotional and you can actually look up like on these charts where that pain is and it'll tell you what the point is and then you can go cross-reference it and figure out the oil and the emotion and then a lot of the time when you read the emotion you're like oh well crap yes I am dealing with that <laughs> so um, what I love about this is it kind of goes in line with Chinese medicine and acupuncture it's similar it goes along the same lines so super super valuable book when you join my team I will be doing videos that actually breaks down how to use this book. Okay? All right. The other book I highly recommend, another one you can get off of Amazon. This is not an oily book. This is just a good, like, deal with your crap book. It's called Feelings Buried Alive Never Die. So true. And this book is also super cool because there's a bunch of... Um, again, references in the back where you can either look up chronic things that keep coming up or you can look up body parts or this, that, or the other. You can even look up emotions. Well, when you look up the chronic stuff you have going on, then you look up, then it'll tell you what emotions are linked to that. And a lot of the time, again, I've had this happen over and over again with myself personally. Um, I'll even tell you a story. Uh, someone in my life just kept getting chronic nose issues. Um, so they would just get these chronic nose things happening. So I looked up like sinus stuff and it had a list of different sight, like emotions that went with sinus things. And one of those emotions was um, being irritable and I will tell you, that person is very irritable. Yeah. <laughs> Another really cool story I always love sharing is my mom's AC guy was working on their AC last year. And he was uh, just expressing to her how his wife's been having a hard time going through a lot of health issues and she had um, pancreatitis, and she had a rough childhood, and all the emotional stuff. So my mom was playing. She's like, "Oh, I would love to send her like an oil." And I was like, "Definitely." And so I was like, "You know what? When I get off the phone, I'll look up in we call this affectionately the blue book. So I'll look up in the blue book and see about the pancreas." But I was like, "You know, if she had a rough childhood, like an abusive childhood." She could probably use some forgiveness because most likely there's still some unresolved stuff in there. So I looked up in the blue book after I got off the phone and when I looked up the pancreas, it said the oil was forgiveness and the emotion was betrayal. So I feel like that went right in line with everything that was going on because you know if you are an abused as a child you must feel betrayed by the people that were meant to protect you yeah there has to be some level of betrayal felt there so those are just i have tons and tons more examples if you would like more but you know i don't want to keep you i want to respect your time okay so let's get into the feelings kit what oils are in this amazing feelings kit the first oil, so all of these oils are really good at working together to help release all your crap, basically. The first oil is Valor. This oil 
is near and dear to my heart. This was my converting oil. The first time I smelled Valor, it was like an angel had come down and, I don't know, gave me a kiss in the nose or something. Just woofed by me, because that's what Valor smells like to me. <sighs> so, with Valor, it helps to instill confidence. If you need some confidence, some courage, motivation, just that get up and go and drive and I've got this attitude, you need yourself some Valor. So what I love to do with Valor in this context for emotional feeling stuff as I'm going through this, I love putting Valor on the bottoms of the feet. So I'll take it, I'll smell it, then I'll rub my hands on the bottoms of my feet and that is great because it's like that grounding, like, okay, my feet are on the ground and I've got this feeling. Then a couple affirmations you can say with Valor is, I am ready to transform my life. I am confident and secure in who I am. So that's Valor. Again, I am ready to transform my life. And I am confident and secure in who I am. Okay. The next oil is harmony. I don't know about you, but I can always use a little more harmony in my life. I love harmony. I thrive off of everything being peaceful and calm. And I will also tell you that I have a two-year-old running around like a wild man in my house all the time. So... There's not as much harmony as I'm used to, so I need a lot of this oil. I'm just like douse them in it. So harmony. Harmony is just, oh, so a lot of these oils are very floral. They are very just exquisite oils because they are just, they're floral, they're soft, beautiful aroma. So with harmony, I like to put it on every chakra point. So I will touch each chakra, starting with the root chakra at the pelvis, your second chakra right below the navel, your solar plexus chakra, chakra right below the chest, heart chakra, throat chakra, uh, third eye chakra, and crown chakra. So you can touch, you can even put one drop on each one. And harmony pretty much does what it's supposed, what it sounds like. It brings harmony. And not just emotionally, but physically as well. So it promotes physical and emotional healing by creating a harmonic, harmonic balance for energy centers in the body. It brings us into harmony with all things, people, and cycles of life. It amplifies well-being and displaces feelings of discord or dis dissipates, excuse me. It is uplifting and elevating to the mind, creating a positive attitude. I mean, who doesn't need some harmony in their life? Okay. So some affirmations you can say with harmony is, my heart is open to give and receive love. I can express myself completely. Okay, what? So, I mean, that's a very powerful oil. The next oil is forgiveness. And again, I don't know about you, but I could always use a little more forgiveness in my life because sometimes forgiveness is not the easiest emotion Forgiveness is a little more pungent, but again, that like pungent floral smell, like something you want to like roll in. Like if I was a dog, I would roll in it. Although like it smells good. Like I feel like most of the things dogs roll in are dead. <laughs> I don't know about your dog, but my dog. Okay. So 
you apply forgiveness to the navel and you do it in a clockwise circle. I know that sounds funny, right? But that's where Carolyn Mind tells us to put it. Okay, the affirmations is I forgive blank, so whatever name, for any harm or hurt they have caused. I am thankful for life's experiences and the lessons they teach. Or I forgive myself from past mistakes. So again, so one quick thing to address. It is extremely difficult to work on any of this for other people if we haven't done it for ourselves. So if there are things that you need to forgive yourself for, work on that first. The forgiveness for others will come, but you need to work at home first. Okay, let's move on. Inner child. Inner child is one that I need more of because I am a naturally pretty serious person. And I need to work on being a little more playful. So inner child is all about, it, it has two fold purposes, I would say. A lot of it is like that happy childhood. Like if you're like me and you need to tap into that little more like free spirited, uh, just like seeing awe of the world, being playful, getting down on the ground. This oil's for you. Now, on a more, I would say, deeper note, inner child is a great emotional healer for child trauma. If you have suffered any childhood trauma, be it abuse or some big event that happened that drastically changed your life, this is the oil for you because it'll help make the pathway for you to work through that. Um, inner child, you can put a drop underneath the nose and then I love to rub the earlobes. Affirmations you can say is, I am ready to face my inner child. My authentic self is enough. So I am ready to face my inner child and my authentic self is enough. Okay. Powerful, powerful one. Okay, two more. Last one is release. Release does what it says it does. It releases. This oil, I'm going to be quite honest, this oil can scare me a little bit. Because sometimes you put release on and you don't know what you're going to release. And it can either be a very good, joyful release or it can be a total biatch release. So, uh, just a little caution there. <laughs> But still use the oil. Don't be afraid to use it. Just be aware that maybe you want to stay home the first time you try some release. <laughs> okay. So with release, I did have a member, one of my good friends. She has been working through a lot of emotional stuff. And I love to put release on the liver. And that's what we're going to do today. So the liver is on your right side. Put a little release on your liver, front and back. Remember the liver spans your front and back of the body. And um, I was like, okay, put some release on every day. And she was, and she called me up like a week later and she's like, Mallory, I am so angry. I am just so angry. And I was like, yeah, okay maybe back off on the release and let that go for a little bit and then we'll come back to that because you're obviously working through a lot right now and releasing a lot and you know sometimes you don't want to release too much at once because it can be a little overwhelming especially if you're like just like yelling at everyone that's no good <laughs> okay some affirmations you can say with release is i release all negativity from my body i release all negativity from my body. 
I replace all negative feelings with love and joy. I replace all negative feelings with love and joy. Okay. Last, last oil, which for me is the most exquisite And one of the ones that I need the most on the daily is present time. Present time to me primarily smells like neroli. So it's like orange blossoms. If you love the smell of orange blossoms, you will love present time. And present time does exactly what it says. That's what I love about Young Living's oil blends the vast, especially the emotional ones, the vast majority of them are pretty straightforward. You're like, oh, forgiveness. Well, there you go. Or, oh, present time. Well, there you go. Okay. So present time. This blend creates a feeling of being in the moment, here and now. Living in the past develops regret and living in the future develops stress. I can attest to that personally because I have a tendency to live in the future a lot. And then I stress myself out because what I want to happen in the future isn't happening right now. And then I get frustrated and then I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to work harder to get there faster. And then I'm like, then I get burnt out and I have stress. So present time has been a really powerful oil for me to stay here, to work in the here and now. Um... But when we're able to fully live in the moment, to use present time and live in the moment, we find peace, ease, and connection to our lives. How beautiful is that? I don't, I love peace, ease, and connection. Okay, so present time we apply to the wrists, behind the ears. This is a thicker oil behind the ears and around the neck. Some affirmations you can use with this oil is I let go of the past and I experience joy in the present. Okay, so this is a whole protocol you can go through. We will wrap back again to Valor because you know what? Working through emotions, you need some freaking courage to face your emotions and to face your stuff, to face what maybe has happened to you in the past that you're still holding on to, to have the courage to let go, to reprogram, to know that you are worth it and you don't have to live with that anymore, takes courage. It takes strength. So that's why we start and we end with valor. So you'll take your valor, put a couple drops in, take a couple breaths. And then if you have time, just sit, just sit, just be still for five minutes in the present moment. Focusing on the breath, even holding the hands up and inhaling all of those delicious oils that you have yourself shrouded in. And just be. If the mind starts ping-ponging everywhere, that's okay. Come back, breathe your oils, connect with your breath. And just allow whatever is supposed to bubble up to bubble up. Even if that means ugly crying, that's okay. Even if that means laughing uncontrollably, that's okay too. All right, my friends, that's all I have for this evening. If you have any questions, I'm always here. You can send me, you can PM me, text me. Call me, whatever. 
I live for this stuff. I'm so excited. Again, thank you so much for taking time out of your incredible life and spending a little bit of it with me, giving yourself, giving back to yourself a little bit. Take care of yourself. The world will be better for it so that you can then turn around, take care of your family, and offer them these tools too. Because God knows my child will need all of these oils. I do my best as a mother, but I'm definitely not perfect. And I'm trying to raise him un as unscathed as possible, but I some days I feel like I'm failing miserably. So that's when I bust out my forgiveness. All right. I love you all. Have a wonderful rest of your night, day, week whatever time it is for you.